All right, guys, if you watched my um, update video or my commentary that says HD awesomeness is coming soon, which is my previous video, you'll know what's in this box. Or if you can read the title of this video, you also know it's in the box. In here, we've got a Blackmagic Intensity Pro uh, HDMI and component video capture card. And I also got some uh, two Amazon Basics HDMI cables just because they're pretty cheap and they're decent quality from the ones that I've gotten in the past. Um, they pack it with like this airbag stuff and it seems that most of these popped. I, I don't know if they popped those on purpose though because it kind of looks like um, it wouldn't have fit anyway so they might have popped it on purpose and uh, just to get it all to fit. <clears throat> so of course we'll dive into the boarding stuff first. I got two of these Amazon Basics uh, HDMI cables. Let's see what it says. Okay, I don't know what, uh, where it says the specs exactly, but it's a six and a half foot cable. Um, it can run Ethernet over it. You know, I don't know exactly what that does because I don't have any devices that use Ethernet over HDMI or anything. But it's still a nice little thing to have. Um, so these are. Relatively thin cables, but most, you know, HDMI cables are pretty much all the same. And these ones are still decent quality, so, you know, I'm not going to worry about signal loss at all, really. Of course, I got two of these because the uh, Blackmagic Intensity Pro has both inputs and outputs. And um, I need to obviously put the video signal in, and I also need to see what I'm recording, so I need the video signal out. So, I bought two of these. Here's the other one. We'll toss that off to the side. And here's the Blackmagic Intensity Pro. Um, I'm pretty sure this is just the card. Um, if the breakout cable's in there, that's going to be a little bonus because I don't think that's included. Especially since um, I got this on Amazon for $186, which is actually even cheap for the standard one with no cables. So I'm going to assume it does not have the breakout cable. So anyways, we're going to cut the film off. I should probably zoom out so I can have a little more room to move. But. So we'll pop open the top. Ooh. Wow. I definitely know where I'm going to order my uh, second one because I plan on buying two of these eventually. I'm definitely ordering from this company again. Because for 186 bucks, it includes the breakout cable which it's normally two hundred dollars just for the card and then you either pay 250 to get the one that has the breakout cable or you can pay an extra 50 to just buy the breakout cable uh, separately my dog's freaking out outside the door because i've got the door shut to record hold on um <clears throat> yeah anyways so here's the actual Blackmagic Intensity Pro capture card. Um, we've got some guests visiting and they just showed up, I think, so I'm probably going to finish up this video relatively quick. But here's the Blackmagic Intensity Pro. It uses a PCIe 1X slot. I don't think the generation matters. It can probably run on, run on Gen 1 uh, just fine. You know, I'm not going to guarantee that, but I, I'm just guessing here. But Again, we've got, I believe the HDMI in is here, out is here, and you plug in the cable here, the uh, breakout cable for a component, and it also supports S-Video. On the back, there's a mini or a micro USB. I'm going to assume that's for firmware updates to the card, or something along those lines, you know. Um, underneath where the card was, we get a couple booklets. These are actually like printed cardboard as opposed to paper. Like this is really thick, so that's kind of nice. Uh, thank you for choosing Black Magic, Black Magic Design for your work. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, the user manual is online, so they're saving paper there. So that's kind of nice to see. <clears throat> or these uh, user manual is also... It's also on a CD, as well as the software that comes with it. I'm going to assume you can download it online, but uh, I'll have to check into that. Because I'm going to assume you can download a new version off the internet of their like editing software. But we'll see. And this is actually kind of a neat thing. I didn't think this would be included for the price. And so we also get the component breakout cables. 
So it's got this plug here, which just plugs in here, as you can see. You screw it in to, uh, you know, keep it from pulling itself out or whatever. But and then on this end, we've got all of your component cables, and um, I'm not going to try to sort them right now. But you know, just for instance, here's the audio. Ooh, is that how they do it? That's kind of interesting. <clears throat> it's, um, I was going to say, I th think they sort it by levels, but I guess they don't. But um, Anyway, so you've got all your cables, so you can do component in and out. If you're going to record with a PlayStation 3, like for gameplays, you want to use these in, and I believe you can still use HDMI out. As for Xboxes, you can just go HDMI straight through because it does not have HDCP, so you'll be fine with that. Um, if you're going to use this to record a PC, which is actually, at first I thought it was stupid, but then when you think about it, it's actually kind of useful. Because if you're going to use fraps to record, that kind of bogs down your system. Whereas if you just put this in a secondary computer, like a cheap HP that you've got laying around, or a cheap Dell, or even just another custom system that you have that you're just not using to play games at the very same moment, you could use this and run your monitor through here and actually record your PC gameplay without having any sort of like lag in your um, in your game. So this is a very handy card. I plan on ordering one more most likely um, because I was originally only going to use this for Xbox gameplay but I was watching a Linus Tech Tips, Tech Tips video last night and he kind of, well he unboxed this yesterday, which is two days ago when I uploaded this video, but he unboxed this and he talked about how even though it's only 1080p, which is what my camera records in, um, it'll record at a higher quality than the SD card inside does because this thing can deal with bigger file sizes at one time than, you know, the physical speed of the uh, SD card can. So I'm going to probably capture with this from now on if I can, if I can get it set up right. And then I'm hopefully going to get a second camera for like two angles. Like I can have this one sitting back here more and then I can have a handheld one that's more for close-up shots. And I'll be able to record those in, you know, full HD with nice files, the big file sizes, you know, uncompressed data. So yeah, I'm probably going to get a second one of these. Um, I don't know how soon, but I think that's about it for this video. Um, so if you're looking into the Blackmagic Intensity Pro, I'll leave a link in the description to the Amazon page. And it's 180 bucks. and for $180 you get this with the breakout cable, which is like a $250 um, MSRP. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, again, it's kind of a surprise that that came in there. Ooh, one quick thing I forgot to mention. You can do uh, um, S-Video if you want. Anyways, that's an S-Video connector. And it uses two of the component in cables. So, you know, if you want to do standard def, that's how you do it. But anyways, if you're interested in the Blackmagic Intensity Pro, I'll leave a link to this in the description. Again, this is a crazy deal if you're interested in one of these capture cards. Um, anyways, I'd like to say thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to click the like button, leave me a comment. And if you want to see more of my videos, please click subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.